Hey everyone, how's it going? I get asked quite frequently on how I play Blinks the Time Sweeper, which is a original Xbox game. Now fortunately, Blinks is accessible on every single Xbox generation to ever come out. Please don't play the Xbox 360 edition. I personally play Blinks 1 on an Xbox Series S. Now some people don't have an Xbox, whether that be a preference choice or just never being able to have one. So maybe there's an original Xbox game you've always wanted to play, but don't want to invest in an Xbox. Or you can't buy an Xbox at the moment, or even worse, Maybe your game isn't even on the Xbox Marketplace. Well, if you have access to a computer, you can actually try out these free available original Xbox emulators, CXBX and Zemu. For the past couple of years, these Xbox emulators have been making considerable progress in making more and more Xbox games playable, especially with Microsoft not making older Xbox titles available to purchase or play on modern consoles. These Xbox emulators that are improving compatibility little by little are becoming more and more important as the years go by. But let's jump back a bit. My YouTube channel is primarily focused on Blinks and Blinks 2. This guide will apply to any original Xbox game that you might want to play on emulation. So what is CXBX and Zemu? And how do we get our Xbox games to be playable on these things? This video will have everything you need to know on how to play Blinks on Xbox emulators and other games too. CXBX and Zemu both emulate original Xbox games, but they do so in different ways. It can be confusing at first, but I can break down how they read original Xbox games. And also a big clarification, not all Xbox games run perfectly or even at all depending on which emulator. Make sure to research on YouTube or the respective emulator websites on the compatibility for Xbox games. So to download these emulators, you go to their websites, download the files, unpack and install on your computer, and it's recommended to have in a new isolated Xbox folder for both of these. For Zemu, there's a little bit of setting up to do. You need certain original Xbox files to insert into the emulator before you can use it. Now, you're supposed to get these from an original Xbox. I'm not going to supply or tell you where you can get these files from, but if you look hard enough, it's on the internet somewhere. CXBX does not have this problem, and you can just use the emulator straight away. The CXBX website actually displays different builds of the program. Some builds can run certain games better, but it's incredibly specific, and it's probably just fine to just run the most recent CXBX build. Just set up the resolution and the controller settings, and easy peasy. Now, to load games on CXBX, you need to go to the top left, click File, and then click Open XBE. For Zemu, you go top left, click Machine, and then click load disk. Now, so this is how you load your games into both emulators. But why is it different? What the hell is an XPE? And how am I gonna put a disk in Zemu? Let's all relax and take it one step at a time. Let's start off with Zemu. Zemu reads Xbox games as virtual disks or ISO files. ISO files are typically a whole collection of smaller files crammed in together to form one single big file. This ISO file acts as a virtual disk because that's how actual physical disks work in an actual console. We're just simulating that so Zemu can read it. For CXBX, it's actually pretty similar to how a computer reads a file. So every single Xbox game has an XBE, an Xbox executable. Like how most games on your PC have an EXE, or an executable. When CXBX reads an XBE, it executes a bunch of code and commands listed in the XBE and looks for a media folder that could contain all of the files that a game needs, like textures, characters, audio files, video files, and much more. You want to make sure that the XBE and the media file are in the same directory like this. Okay, once your emulators are set up, you've got your game files, but uh-oh, you have the wrong file format for your particular emulator. That's okay, because we can actually change that. A real good program to have is this, the C Xbox tool. This program can turn your Xbox files into an ISO suitable for Zemu, or extract your files suitable for CXBX. All right, Zemu time. This is how you create a suitable ISO. Open up C Xbox tool and click on the ISO creation. Then have all of your Xbox files in the same directory making sure the XBE is named default.xbe. Otherwise, the ISO will not work. Add the folder containing the XBE and media files into the source folder, then the target folder is just where you want the ISO to be created. Then you press start and your ISO will be made. Then you'll be able to load this into Zemu. For CXBX, it's a little bit easier. If you already have access to the files, just make sure that they're laid out like this in the folder. But if you have your game in an ISO format, we can extract all the files out of it with the same tool. Open up C Xbox tool and click on ISO extraction. Click on add and then find the ISO you want to extract. 
and the target folder you want to extract your files to. Click start, wait for it to be extracted, then go to CXBX, open the XBE you've just extracted, and then start emulation. There you go. That's how you play Xbox games on both emulators.